Hi everyone, today we are here with TXT's The Chaos Chapter Fight or Escape repackaged album. I may have bought a second set. This is my second set, honestly. Um, I bought one set on K-Town For You and I bought it with uh, Red Velvet's new album, Queendom. But I think Red Velvet was holding up my package or something. It hasn't shipped. Not like this has been out for a long time. But I know that there was a sweet, sweet Target exclusive. Meaning the albums would be in my stores. So I wanted to go ahead and just get it. I was in a silly, goofy mood on Saturday. I really wanted to have these. I just wanted that boost to serotonin of unboxing an album. So I went. I went to Target. Thankfully, they had two sets of albums and they were on the shelves instead of having to ask somebody like for butter. I don't know if it's just because it was BTS that they were holding the albums or what, but the consistency is not it at my target at least. Um, but I didn't write anything for this unboxing, considering it is just a repackaged album. We don't really have new things to go over, although when I did film my freeze unboxing, it was in the old format of being distracted. So yeah the album she's still good to this day honestly a loser or lover i don't know how exactly you say it i'm just called loser lover um is so good i was a little behind on listening to it if i'm going to be honest but the power of tiktok she is truly powerful i the amount of times i've heard the audio for this song on tiktok really just made me go for it i just wasn't really in the mood for new music at the time especially because there's an abundance of music coming out right now i'm feeling a little overloaded but it is so good i'm uh, upset with myself that i just didn't go ahead and listen to it oh my gosh my cats they're chasing each other they knocked down my recycling but this song is just she's a chef's kiss She's beautiful. I really love it. The music video isn't exactly my favorite out of the music videos that they've done, but the song itself, amazing. It hits you in like a different kind of mood. Taehyun is on his like second divorce arc. He's in the custody battle. I don't know what, but he is singing also. I don't hear much people talk about Hyunin Kai in his part as well, but he also sounds like he's singing because Rent is due as well. He is so powerful, but uh, this, oh my gosh. The choreography also, it's not my favorite. Loser Lover, she's great. Just not my favorite that TXT has done, but the versatility of TXT, the variety, you could never get bored. They truly have a title track. Forget the B-sides. They have a title track for any kind of mood. And that's something I really enjoy about TXT and standing them. For a brief history with me and TXT, Crown, their debut, did not catch me. It wasn't ex It wasn't until I saw the choreography a lot on TikTok, I think. Was TikTok then? I don't know. But I used to see the choreography a lot on like Instagram, TikTok, if that was around. I'm so bad with timelines. But I used to see covers of the dance or parts of it in YouTube videos. And that really got me interested in it and what made me start standing them. Um, and ever since then, every single album has been good. My favorite has been the Dream Chapter Magic. There's just something that they put in that album. That is so addicting. I love it so much. So yeah, everything else on the album, I still love. Ice Cream is still just not really it for me. She never grew on me, but I don't skip her. I let her play. Uh, Moa Diary, she's really cute. I didn't know what to expect when I saw that on the track list, but I like it. I don't really have too much to say. And then the I Know I Love You Emo Core remix. First off, emo core i feel like i'm trapped in tiktok right now the american core the cottage core all the cores i love it 
I didn't think I was gonna like it. I don't really like remixy type things. Um, and this, I don't know, it just fits very well. I think because I Know I Love You already had that rockish vibe going for it. It always reminded me of a Day 6 title track. So to just really go all in on like that rock band guitar, like the live band sound, it fits so well and it sounds amazing. Just like wanting to see that live is probably on like my bucket list. I don't think that's possible. You know, if they tour and they want to, you know, of course add that to the set list because it's a title track, I would hope they would go for the emo core. But I won't be picky. I won't be picky. I will not. I won't. But it's a dream. So, what we got in this album, she was stuffed. When I first opened it, everything exploded because it was right there. There's like a weird mini poster thing that folds out to a big poster. I don't know what it's called. I forgot what it said on like the album details, but you have a bigger poster, which is gorgeous. The Fight album is probably my favorite concept out of the two. I really like the summery skateboarding vibes. I don't know. I don't know. I hate summer, but like slowly I'm thinking I really do like summer. And then there's two sticker sheets. Uh, I probably won't use them at all. There's a booklet for the track list. Um, that's nice. <laughs> I don't really have any. I don't really have any needs for it. It does come with a postcard, which they've been doing lately. I don't think I'm going to be using the postcard. I haven't stored like any of them away, but we got Bumgu, so... Thank you, Target. For the AR card, we got Taehyun. I'm pretty sure it has his birthday on the bottom, so I'm pretty sure the Target exclusive is just um, a photo card of the poster. I'm gonna use it as a center, I think, in my binder, if I remember correctly when I mapped it out. There's a standee for both albums. I pulled Hyuninkai as well as the photo card, and then there's like the I forget what it's called. Let me pull it out because it just so happens to be right next to me. What is it called? The the Star Seekers card? I think it's called the OS card when you like look at the templates. I don't know. I pulled, uh, well to be honest, I forgot who I pulled right there. Oh, I'm pretty sure I pulled Taehyun. I have like everything in front of me, so I'm a little confused. But I pulled Taehyun. I won't go into what I pulled in the next album because that's a little, you know, spoilery. So I'm not going to do that. But let's just go ahead and talk about uh, the jewel cases and collecting this album. I am usually really bad when it comes to collecting TXT. I collect Bumgu and Taehyun. Usually, it's not that TXT are the lowest priority when it comes to collecting. They just usually catch me when I'm on like my slump of collecting where I'm like tired, I'm exhausted, and I don't even know why because I don't collect very much. <laughs> but I'm just always late to the party with it, but they've caught me at a good time. I'm like all in for collecting right now. So that's also... Please ignore my cats. They are in a silly, goofy mood. But usually I only buy one set of TXT albums. And that's, I also think, why I'm usually in like a slump. Because I don't have enough cards to cover both members. But that's part of the reason why I went to Target to get this set. Because this set and the one coming from K-Town for You covers me with Bumgu and Taehyun. And yes. But... Miss Big Hit, or Hybe, Hybe, whatever you want to call them. They came out with jewel cases. And I wasn't going to collect them. I was not. I wasn't. I was fine with it. When I was on K-Town For You, I wasn't paying attention very well. And I was so confused why there were so many options for this album. And then I realized that there's like some jewel cases. And I don't really care for jewel cases. So I wasn't going to do it, but I got hit with the TXT photo card template. The photo cards look so good. The photo cards look so good. And 
I think I'm gonna order two sets of those CDs. However, I'm not entirely sure because one ho just announced his comeback and he has too many photo cards all the time and he only puts one photo card in each album. It really grinds my gears, but we're gonna we're not gonna talk about that. And ATs is coming back, but I only need one set of their albums. So I don't know when I will buy my second when I will buy the jewel cases for TXT. But I really want to collect those photo cards. I saw it. I know Subin's Escape Together photo card is probably going to be like that photo card of this era. You know, there's always one. To me, that's the one that caught my eye. I think that's going to be the most popular. But I really, I really want to collect them. So with the regular sized album and the jewel case, collecting Bumgu and Taehyun, there's 10 photo cards between them both and it doesn't really work on a nine pocket sleeve so what i've come to conclusion is i'm going to collect the star seeker photo cards because i know that there's going to be an abundance of those nobody's going to want to collect them and they're actually really cute i didn't like the version thing that they had for the freeze albums but these ones looked really good so I'm gonna collect a set of that and just have it on a different page. That way I can keep Taehyun and Bumgu on one page and still look nice. So now the inclusions for the Escape album. We pulled Yunjun's postcard and AR card, which is like this Monopoly paper. It was very confusing when I first saw it because it was flipped over. I thought we were playing some Monopoly in here. It feels like Monopoly money, I'm not even gonna lie. Just a little thicker. It feels more expensive. <laughs> I hate it, to be honest. It looks so delicate. I don't even know how I'm going to trade that. And then for everything else, we were truly Hyunin Kai blessed. We've got the Star Seekers card, the photo card, and the standee. Honestly, if I collected Hyunin Kai, I would be set for this comeback. It would make my life so much easier. But that is not the case. So I'm going to hold on to my extras. Like I said, I'm probably not going to collect the postcards. I don't know. They just don't fit very well in my binder. So I'm not going to worry about it. But I am going to wait for my second set of albums to come from k for You. It should ship sometime this week. Sorry this one wasn't as structured as previous ones. But I hope you enjoyed. And go stream Loser or Lover. And I will catch you next time. Bye!